Okie dokie. So I haven't posted anything in a while and I wanted to show you what we did today. Ignore the freeze dryer going right next to it. Hopefully that won't bother you too much. Right now we've got pineapple. Uh, I think it's more pineapple, more pineapple and eggplant. Yeah, and eggplants, chips down there. So we'll see, we've never done eggplant chips. Um, anyways, so here's our canned goods and this is our upstairs on wheels canned storage. And uh, this is in the, what we call the apocalypse room. There's another one over there, but we're just gonna, for sake of time, um, just gonna go over cans. So here's what we've got. I've got milks and that's coconut milk, evaporated milk and condensed milks. Those are all over there. We've got the pie fillings here. Um, you know, blueberry, cherry, pumpkin, peach. Those are pretty much the only ones we use. I, there might be something else, but um, then we have all of our fruits this way. Cranberry, mixed fruits, mandarin oranges, pineapple, and sliced peaches. And I, it's really easy for me to know, okay, I'm, I only have one can of this left. We've made some peach cobblers. So I can quickly look at this and go, I need sliced peaches and I need a cherry. I also have a downstairs pantry, but when this starts getting to the bottom like that, I start feeling like I gotta go and stock up. Okay, so then over here, this is tomatoes. This is everything from whole peeled tomatoes to tomato paste, fire roasted diced potatoes. Um, this one is, I mean tomatoes, and this one's even got green chilies in it. So anything at all um, with tomatoes goes over there. And then I've got my SpaghettiOs, which we don't have a whole lot of these, but I always put these next to it because this would be red food color. Um, <laughs> you'll see what I mean in a minute. And then we have soups and I've kind of organized these today. Um, so we've got tomato bisque, vegetable beef, chicken noodle, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, beefy mushroom, and double noodle. Those we always have. And then behind it, we have things like, we have a lobster chowder, but a lot of the um, Campbell's, um, a lot of the Progresso, um, and we just got those for, you know, when somebody's sick and you don't even feel like cooking. Um, we don't really use those for recipes, I don't think at all. But these ones in the front, we definitely do. Um, okay, then down here, this is what I meant by color coordinated. Um, this is green, black, white, yellow, green. I've got two sections of green. You'll see why, and orange. Okay, so these, this is spinach and green beans, green chilies and diced peppers. Um, then I have black, which is just olives, white, which is things like potatoes, water chestnuts, hearts, palm, um, and then we have artichoke hearts. But then we have yellow, which is just basically your corns. Um, I've got skillet corns, whole corns. Um, that's just basically corn. And then this other green part is for random things like asparagus and peas and tomatoes with okra. Um, we've got some mixed vegetables back there, California style, and there's a country style too, which I, we really need to try those. We haven't had those. We, we got those at sale um, at Randall's. Anyway, so asparagus, pe peas, all that. And then over here we've got orange, which is just carrots and yams. Okay, and then at the bottom, this is meats. And when you go meats, okay, but if you're in like a grid down situation and you need protein, you're gonna need some meats. So we really stocked up on a lot of these Kirkland's chicken breast. Um, I also have freeze dried onions back over there too. Um, but we have um, things like corned beef hash, sausage with gravy, chicken breast. In the back, there's a whole nother row of chicken breast. But I also have things like chicken and dumplings. Can you see that? Here we go. Chicken and dumplings. And if you look way back there, there's a bunch of tuna. So I just, it's just all crammed in there. I don't use this that often, but there's also, if you really look back here, we even have corned beef and there's some spam and some ham. Just all of that is in the meat section. Um, and like I said, we don't use it very often, but it's, it's nice to have a meat section. And then this is our beans section and I've organized it. So we've got the jalapeno pinto beans. We've got refried beans, red beans and rice, um, chili pinto beans and red beans, 
uh, ranch style beans, and then we have these uh, chili sauce beef things here, and then baked beans. This is actually still part of the chili and meat part. This is all the Wolf brand chili. Um, what else is back here? It's just a lot of chilies. And then I actually have some, some black beans back there too. Um, so it, it goes back pretty far. I don't, I don't think you can see that, but pretty far. Uh, you can put a lot in these. And then the great thing about having them in this, besides the fact that you can label it and see it from the top, like when you're standing here, you can see back how far. Can't do that up here, but it's pretty easy, you know, to kind of just get an idea. Um, it goes back, I don't know, what is that, like, I, I think at least eight places back, and I don't even know, but we can fit, it's definitely hundreds of cans in here, um, and so it's very nice to have that. And then I'll just show you what we're in the process of. We have some Rotel up there, some paper plates, some random things, We've got some extra blankets and stuff, and this is our, our, our cart for... Um, we're gonna do soap making and we dry out herbs and stuff on that. And then these are all cleaning supplies. We'll get to that some other time. We also have up here cans, lots of, those are grapes. Um, we've got corn, mandarin oranges, all kinds of stuff like that. And then all of our glass jars and condiments. These are tomatoes. Uh, what is this? I don't even know what that is. I think that's peaches but we've just canned a bunch of stuff. And then I've got tons of things like that I've got on sale um, and coffees and just random stuff back there. You can see there's um, some peaches, I mean, not uh, pears, those are pears. And um, if I back up, there's things like vinegars and oils and sauces, popcorn, um, just tons of stuff, sauerkraut, mustard, buffalo sauce, ketchup, pizza sauce, Alfredo sauce mayonnaise um this is all this is interesting i should need to bring this downstairs a baking goods section but i have a whole new baking goods section that i've organized downstairs so i need to really move some of that down um because like the the corn syrup the baking powder and this whole thing are going to come down um and then down here we've got some more things like vegetable oils and juices I've got soups that are dried soups there and pastas. Um, more random stuff in here. I don't know why this coffee is there, but you can see I got these Starbucks coffees for two bucks a piece. So I, I've got a ton of those. Um, and it's the kind where you can take it and put it in a grinder. Um, so brown sugar is not supposed to be up there. So I'm, I'm still cleaning and organizing and kind of going through it, but it does have a lot of organization already. Um, I know that if I'm looking for a condiment and I'm run out of something, I'm going to come look up in these areas. Um, and so it's just really nice to have this overflow. We even have some beds up here. <laughs> we have a lot of jars up here, table for the um, measuring out things. We have an extra coffee pot, um, our freeze dryer stuff at the pump, all that is up here. Okay, now I'm going to run you over here real quick wine storage of course wine storage is awesome um, but this was just our junk food drawer area and we just moved all of these uh, box type things from that one over here because it was crazy tight and so we've got everything from jellos and mandarin oranges and pop tarts and even some cereals and what is this? This is oatmeals, um, things like that, just to all kinds of baking goods. And then this is once again, more sweets and things like that. We actually had a bunch of candy here last year uh, for Halloween, Thanksgiving, all that. And we've kind of cleaned out the candy. Candy's getting really expensive. So we actually hide that somewhere else and we don't have that much of it. Um, but I really want to go through and get the things that are non-food, like the candles, um, the coconut water out, and things that these can stay. But anything that's non-food, I'm probably going to get out of there and organize this next. Um, but that's kind of where we are on what, and we've got some more stuff. I mean, you can ask questions if you see this. But um, that's kind of where we are with the 
apocalypse room, which was what the kids call it, but it's supposed to be like a game room, but it's too small for that. Um, we had two beds in here at one time. But um, anyways, back to show you this last thing. We also have uh, a beverage dispenser, an extra griddle, some jars, some water, some things like that just randomly in here. But one more great look at this awesome pantry. And once again, it's milks, pie fillings, fruit, soups, tomatoes, green, black, white, yellow, and orange. We have extra green and then meats and beans. And like I said, on the meats, it's chicken breast, spam, tuna, you name it. So anyways, I hope that helps somebody, inspires somebody, and uh, that you guys will learn something here maybe and uh, try to implement it in your own homes. All right, take care until next time. Bye-bye.